Hey everybody! Today I want to show you how you can use Liblytics Risk Heat Map Visual for Power BI for visualizing your risk profiles or any other kind of two-dimensional data. In this example, I will show you how you can turn the data in the shown table on the left into a risk heat map like this. Before we will start, let's take a closer look at my data. You can see that I have multiple risks with an unique risk ID. Each risk is represented by a corresponding impact and probability value. Since the risk map requests number values for the x and the y axis, I transformed my string values into numbers like this. For my impact value, for example, the value insignificant is now represented by the number 1. If you would like to know how you can transform your data this way, please read the article on our website or watch our corresponding video. You can find the link in the video description below. Ok, let's get started. First of all, we need to download the visual from Microsoft App Source. Therefore, we need to open up Power BI Desktop or Service. Click on the three dots under Visualizations on the right hand side and select Get more visuals. Search for the corresponding visual by typing Risk Heat Map. You can see that our visual is officially certified by Microsoft. This means that it meets the highest Microsoft security standards and is able to be exported to PDF and PowerPoint. Click on the Risk Heat Map icon and download the visual for free by clicking the Add button. The installed visual will appear on the right hand side under Visualizations. To get started, simply select the visual from the list. An empty instance of the visual will appear on your dashboard. Now let's add our data. First of all, I choose the risk ID dimension as a unique identifier for the risks. You could also use a short risk name or description. Afterwards, add the measure for impact and probability. I would like to see the impact measure on the x-axis and the probability measure on the y-axis. Perfect! We set up the risk heat map with the minimum data needed. You can also use our layout designer to change the overall appearance of the risk heat map to meet your CI requirements. I will show you the layout designer in the next video. To learn more tips and tricks about our products for Power BI and ClickSense, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.